with two leading scores for Minot State men's basketball share more than just the knack for getting buckets on the hardwood, but they also have a common way they made it to a four-year university. Fifth-year guard Cameron Dunphy brings a veteran presence to the floor at Minot State. It's really important that he plays well for us. He's had uh, a solid stretch of games now, um, but you know the, that experience matters, and his ability to, to shoot the basketball has been huge for us and score the basketball, and also just kind of that he's been there and done that, so to speak, at, you know, at Minot State. He's played in a lot of games, been in all the gyms. The six-foot-three guard also brings a strong scoring punch, leading the Beavers with just over 15 points per game, tying a Division II-era school record with eight threes in the win over St. Cloud State. Honestly, my team just got me, when I was open, they just hit me. All of our guys can really be capable of having a big game like that. So if they're open, they just find an open guy, find the hot hand, and it just happened to be me that night. Before joining the Beavers, Dunphy played two years of junior college hoops at Dawson Community College. I think I was lucky. I came from a JUCO where the coach is pretty similar, where you, JUCO really has the reputation where it's just like chaos, and a lot of instances it is, but my JUCO wasn't necessarily, so I was kind of prepared. Like, we did film, we did scout, we did five in, five out, so it's not like I was playing 40 minutes. I think I have a good head on my shoulders from the coach that I had before. And this season, he teams up with a former Mondak foe in North Dakota College of Science transfer guard, Kahari Broadway. JUCO, I mean, it showed me a different side of basketball. It showed me that 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 gritty basketball that you need to have during when you having, you know, uh, hard games where you got to uh, grind it out and things like that. And me and Cam, we were actually rivals in JUCO. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy just coming here and playing on a on a rivals uh, team now. Adjusting to the style of play of JUCO hoops to the NSIC isn't always easy. The physicality of our league uh, is a big step up as far as, um, you know, really how physical things are and how fast they move. It's not that guys are necessarily better, but they're all, you know, right now, a lot of the teams in our league are playing fourth, fifth, even sixth-year guys, those guys usually are going to really execute things and really take care of the basketball, make the right play, and just that consistency sometimes takes a while to develop. But Broadway's found early success, averaging 11 points a game in his first year with the Beavers. Here it's more like you have to really take your time on finding your spots, finding your guys and everything. And it's really like attention to detail up here. That's one thing that I really um, realized. And I'm still picking up things that I need to take away from my game that I had in JUCO and then add something else that, you know, for the NSIC to help me out. And Minot State Athletics announced a schedule change today. Instead of playing at Minnesota Crookston tomorrow night, they'll host you Mary for a women's game at 1, and the men's game will follow at 3.